Okay, this is the AMS sub slab installation kit. It's for installing long term monitoring points for sampling for VOCs beneath the slab. The kit comes with five implants. Uh, things you'll need for the installation process is some sort of a rotary hammer drill and a shop vac. And the shop vac is used for sucking up your, your tailings and your shavings as you're penetrating the slab. So the first step, what you want to do is the kit comes with this two inch core bit or masonry bit, which has a 7 16 pilot bit on it. And that pilot bit holds the concrete bit in place so it doesn't chatter and wander on you. Um, the purpose of this bit is we've already bored a hole here, is to bore this quarter inch deep uh, ring, which actually is for the tamper resistant cap so that it fits flush with the floor when you're finished. Um, so basically you'll you'll bore down a quarter of an inch with this with this bit and you'll replace this one with the one inch masonry bit. Now this bit is used to completely penetrate the slab. Um, every slab is different and depths vary so you might have to cut your, your quarter inch stainless steel tubing on your implant um, accordingly and measure your hole first. So I've already put together a, a complete implant for you. This is what they look like. You have a three inch stainless steel screen which is your actual sampling point and you've got quarter inch stainless steel tubing running all the way to the surface. This black rubber plug is used to actually keep the grout from coming around the sampling port of the, of the implant. So once you've bored your hole and you've sucked all your shavings out with the shot back, you'll actually lower this into place and the grout obviously goes above this rubber plug. So you'll grout in all the way to the surface, allow time to cure, um, and then when you do want to take a sample, you have two different adapters available. This is your barb adapter and this is your one-way valve adapter. You can either screw this barb adapter directly into the implant and pull your sample, or you can screw it into your one-way valve. That way you can open and close the sampler. So once you've taken your samples with your Tedlar bag and your hand pump or your vacuum pump of your choice, you'll actually use your tamper resistant cap to lock to seal the monitoring point and you have a spanner screwdriver with some special holes so it's somewhat tamper resistant and you'll actually screw this in and lock the implant in place and once it's locked in place it fits flush with the floor because you've used your two inch bit to countersink the hole and it's not a tripping hazard and it's it's tamper resistant and that is your sub slab installation kit